in this video we are going to discuss how to sketch root blockers of the system in this graph sheet we are going to sketch the root blockers of this system so the first step is to locate poles and zeros so how to get poles for getting poles equate denominator equal to zero so what is our denominator is product of s plus 2 and s plus 4 put that equal to zero from that we will get either s equal to zero or we will get s plus 2 equal to zero or we will get s plus 4 equal to zero from this we will get 0 from this we will get s equal to minus 2 and from this we will get s equal to minus 4 so the poles are 0 minus 2 and minus 4 0 minus 2 and minus 4 now we need to find zeros for getting zeros equate numerator equal to 0 but in this case there is no numerator term suppose think that there is a numerator term like this then when we equate that to 0 we will get s equal to minus 2 then our zeros will be at minus 2 but in this question there is no term like that so write no zeros now we need to plot this in our graph sheet okay so this is an s plane graph sheet graph is s plane now the x axis will be sigma and y axis will be j omega and we need to write the scale for x one axis equal to one, one centimeter equal to one unit and here also one centimeter equal to one unit then we need to plot this poles for plotting poles you need to use cross mark and for plotting zeros we need to put zero okay now i am going to plot poles first of all going to plot, plot poles so poles are at 0 minus 2 and minus 4 0 so here there is one pole then at minus 2 minus 2 there is a pole and minus 4 minus 4 also there is a pole so these are the number of poles in this case there is no 0 okay so after plotting poles on the graph sheet now our step 2 to find root blockers on real axis so this is our real axis we need to find root blockers okay for that i need to use a test point okay so when i and when i use a test point here if I am getting odd number of poles and zeros on the right side, then root locus will be existing. If I am getting even number of poles or zeros, then root locus will not be existing. So my test point is here. Then I am checking on my right side, there is only one pole. So odd number of poles, then my root locus will be existing. Here also, if I am taking this pole and on the right side of that, there is only one pole, that is odd. So my root locus will be existing here. Then when I take this point, then there are even number, two poles are there. Two poles are there, that means even number. At that time, my root locus will not be existing here. Then when I take a test point here, then I check 1, 2, 3. three. Three poles are there. That means odd number. So my root locus will be existing here. So from poles, always root locus will start and either it will end at infinity or it will end at 0. So root locus will start and it will go to infinity. Here there are no 0. So it will go to infinity. So in the graph sheet, my root locus will be existing here and also to infinity. So in this region, my root locus will be existing. Now we need to find asymptotes and centroid. Here there are three poles. We have three poles and zeros. We have zero. Okay. So there are three poles. So there will be three asymptotes. Asymptotes are just straight lines. Okay. They are just straight lines. And for finding asymptotes, we need angle of asymptotes. For getting angle of asymptote, this is the equation 190 into 2 cube plus 1 divided by P minus Z. P is number of pole and zero. Z is zero. Okay. So where Q, Q is 0, 1 up to p minus z minus 1. So in this case, the angle of asymptotes will be 180 into 2 cube plus 1 divided by p minus z. p is 3. 3 minus 0. That will be 3 itself. Okay. So our values of q will be 0, 1 and p minus z minus 1. p minus z it is 3. 3 minus 1 it will be 2. So the values of q will be 0, 1 and 2. So when we have q equal to 0, our angle of asymptote will be 180 into 2 into 0. It will be 0. 0 plus 1 it will be 1. So 1 into 180 by 3 that will be equal to 60 degree then when we have q equal to 1 our equation 2 into 1 it will be 2 2 plus 1 it will be 3 so 3 and 3 will be cancelled we will get 180 degree then when we substitute q equal to 2 then it will be 180 into 2 into 2 it is 4 4 plus 1 divided by 3 so 4 plus 1 it is 5 so 180 into 5 by 3 3 it will be 6 16 into 5 it will be 300 so the angle of asymptotes are 60 degree 180 degree and 300 degree so number of poles is 3 so there will be 3 asymptotes now we got the angles for asymptote now we need centroid from where these angles will start okay for that we need centroid how to find centroid centroid the equation is sum of pole minus sum of zeros divided by p minus z sum of poles for poles are 0 minus 2 and minus 4 0 minus 2 minus 4 minus sum of zeros there are no zeros divided by p minus z p is 3 number of poles and number of zeros it is 0 so minus 2 minus 4 it will be minus 6 divided by 3 that you will get as minus 2. So centroid will be at minus 2. 
So at minus 2, we will have our centroid. Now after finding centroid, we need to plot this angle. Centroid is at minus 2. For minus 2, we need to plot 60, 180 and 300 using protractor. So first of all, we can plot minus 60 from point minus 2. Minus 2, we need to take the center. Then plot 60 degree, then 180 degree. Then for plotting 300 degree, either you can rotate the protractor or you can or you can take 60 degree. So if I am rotating the protractor from here, I am getting 0, 180, then 270, then 300. That is minus 60, 300. Okay, minus 60. Then it will be 360. So my three angles are 60, 180, and 300. I need to plot these angles. Now asymptotes you need to draw with dotted lines. Okay, dotted lines. They are just straight lines. So use a scale and draw dotted lines from the centroid. So one is at my 60, then 180, and the other one is at 300 or you can take minus 60 300 or you can take minus 60 so these are my three asymptotes asymptotes you always you need to draw with dotted lines now in step 4 i need to find breakaway and breaking point so as i said earlier always root locals will start from pole and end at either zero or it will end at infinity so when there are adjacent poles it will start from pole it will start from pole here also it will start from pole but we need to know we need to know where it will meet at a point it will meet we need to find that point that point is breakaway when there are adjacent poles we will get breakaway when there are adjacent zeros when there are adjacent zeros always the root locus will come and end at zero they will end at zero or infinity they will end here they will start here they will end so this arrow mark like this here the arrow mark it is like this so at a point they will meet and end like this from here it will come and end like this so that meeting point we need to know that is break in break in this is break away they are going away this is break in they are coming so in our question we have two adjacent poles and our root locus will start from pole and it will meet at some point that is our breakaway point we need to find that breakaway point how to find it for finding breakaway or break in we need to know characteristic equation so how to get characteristic equation we need to write the closed loop transfer function this is open loop transfer function from that we need to write closed loop transfer function so how to write closed loop transfer function g divided by 1 plus gh if it is a negative feedback if it is a positive feedback it will be 1 minus gh but in this question nothing is mentioned so you can take it as negative feedback and find g by 1 plus gh so what is our g this big thing that is k divided by s into s plus 2 s plus 4 all divided by 1 plus g g is the same thing substituted s plus 2 s plus 4 then h it is unity unity feedback so h equal to 1 then solving this we will get by cross multiplying it okay we will get now, removing this denominator, we will get the final answer as k divided by s into s plus 2, s plus 4 plus k. Now, we will get the characteristic equation when we equate denominator equal to 0. So, what is our denominator? s into s plus 2 into s plus 4 plus k equal to 0. Now, we need to expand the bracket, open the bracket. So, s into s, it will be s square plus s into s and s into 2. So, s square plus 2s into s plus 4 plus k equal to 0. Now, s square into s, it will be s cube. s square into 4, it will be 4s square plus 2s square plus 4 into 2, it will be 8s plus k equal to 0. Now, from this equation, find the value of k. For getting k, what we need to put all this at the other side. So, we will get minus s cube minus 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. So, we will get minus 6x square minus 8s. So, this will be our k. Now, differentiate this and equate it to 0 dk by ds equal to 0. Differentiate this equation and equate it to 0. So differentiating it we will get 3s square minus minus 3s square minus 12s minus 8. Now equating it to 0 we will get we can take the minus outside and equate it to 0 we will get 3s square plus 12s plus 8 equal to 0. From this we need to find the value of s by using calculator or you can use minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a that equation also you can use but I am using calculator equation this is second degree equation so 2 the coefficient here square it is 3 then 12 then 8 we will get the value as x1 it is as minus 0.84 then x2 it is at minus 3.15 so these are the two points that i am getting when we substitute dk by ds equal to 0 now we have two points so these are my breakaway points but there are two points i need to find which point is existing okay which point is my actual breakaway for that take my graph there are two methods either you can use this two method first method check this point s is minus 0.84 minus 0.84 it is lying it may be lying here minus 1 is here so minus 8 point minus 0.8 will be lying at this point 
then minus 3.15 minus 3 minus 3 is here minus 3.15 is here but at this point the root locus is not existing so this will not be my answer my answer will be minus 0.84 because my root locus will be existing here and here here my root locus is not existing so minus 0.84 will be my breakaway point so my poles will start and it will meet here and from here it will break away the other method that we can use is that look at this equation k substitute this value for s here when we substitute s equal to 0.84 here we will get the answer as 3.08 when we substitute minus 3.15 in this equation we will get the answer as minus 3.08 we are getting a negative value always we need to get a positive value for k when we substitute our root okay we will get two answer when we substitute this answer in our k we need to get a positive value then that value will be our correct answer when we put this point here we will get a negative value that will be wrong so this will be our breakaway point now in next step we need to find the crossing point on imaginary axis so this will be our imaginary axis our root locus will start from here and it will break away at this point and it will move like this then it will cross the imaginary axis at some point we need to find that point where they are going to cross for that from the previous step we got the characteristic equation how we found the characteristic equation we wrote the closed loop Hansel function and we found the characteristic equation by equating denominator equal to zero so we get the characteristic equation as s cube plus 6s square plus 8s plus k equal to zero now to find the crossing point from this characteristic equation either you can use root hybrid stability criteria or substitute j omega in this s wherever you are seeing s we need to substitute j omega but i am using root hybrids so first of all write the coefficient s cube s square s raised to 1 and s raised to 0 s cube the coefficient is 1 then the alternate coefficient is 8 then here it is 6 and k now do the multiplication 6 into 8 it is 48 minus k divided by 6 the last value will be our last value so that is k now we need to find the value for k from this point for so finding that 48 minus k divided by 6 from this we need to find the value of k equate that to 0 then we will get 48 minus k equal to 0 from that we will get k equal to 48 now write the auxiliary equation so this was our point when we get 48 minus k by 6 just above that take the equation above that so 6 auxiliary equation will be 6 s square plus k equal to 0 now we have the value of k is 41 so 6 s square plus 48 equal to 0 from this we will get 6 s square equal to minus 48 from that we will get s square equal to 48 by 6 that will be minus 8 from this we will get 8 s equal to uh, plus or minus root of minus 8 that is plus or minus j root 8 okay root 8 the value is 2.82 so plus or minus 2.82 j so plot that point in our graph 2.8 it is 2.8 1 2 then this is 3 so 2.8 will be here then minus 2.8 that is here so root locus will be crossing at this po these two points so root locus will start from pole and it will break away at this point then parallel no parallel to the asymptote for that purpose we are drawing asymptote our root locus will move parallel to the asymptote then it will cross the imaginary axis at 2.82 then it will go to infinity we need to draw parallel to this asymptote it will go to infinity so the arrow mark will be starting from pole the root locus will move like this to infinity then in minus side also negative also we need to draw like that parallel to the asymptote we need to draw then we need to cross this imaginary axis this point so the root locus will be going parallel to this to infinity then the arrow mark will be starting from pole it will break away then it will move like this okay to infinity then here also the root locus is there starting from pole it will move like this to infinity so our root locus is this one and it is always symmetric to the real axis this is real axis symmetric as you can see this is symmetric after plotting the graph you need to write the scale one centimeter equal to one centimeter we plot one unit okay my axis also one centimeter equal to one unit then we need to plot these points okay you need to mark these points centroid it is it is at minus two so centroid at minus two then breakaway point breakaway point is here that is at minus breakaway point minus point eight four then crossing imaginary axis at this point you need to plot all those points so this is our final answer the next video we can discuss a complicated question when we get complex poles of zeros here it is real poles when we get complex poles such as minus 2 plus 3j like that kind of complex poles we are getting at that time how to draw the root locus and what are the changes that is going to come in the root locus okay if you have any doubts you can contact me through instagram the link is there in the description then you can share notes in the telegram that link is also there so just check the description box